Alright, so as you guys may know, I've been losing my faith in humanity rapidly over these past 3-4 years. Uh, but uh, this new TikTok challenge kind of solidifies it. Um, so we all know TikTok, right? It's famous for its dangerous challenges and whatnot. There's been like countless ones. Just search up dangerous TikTok challenge and you'll find like thousands of results, maybe even millions. Um, and you can even search this one up if you don't believe me with this one. I'll, I'll include a link to this article in the description, but, uh, j just so that you know it's not just a bullshit article, you can just look it up and there'd be, and there's like ten or even, like, there's more than ten articles on this issue, so, yeah. Anyways, to get to the point, because I don't want to milk this, um, the new, uh, new TikTok trend, well, there's been like two uh, one of them has been covered by Optimus, so go, just go watch his video. It's about, like, this girl who, uh, um, f like, faked getting a tongue piercing and whatnot by, like, putting magnetic balls in her mouth or something. Uh, I'll, I'll include a, I might include a picture of that up when I edit this. Uh, but for the one that I'm focusing on in this video... Um, it is called the TikTok Fire Challenge. So, apparently, uh, what this challenge is, is, like, you draw, di you draw shapes on a mirror using hairspray, and then set them on fire. So, so you switch off the lights and set the figure on fire. Uh, and why is this popular? I don't know. Like... Because you're supposed to, like, see the drawings when you do it. But come on, are you guys that stupid? Well, apparently people are this stupid. Because, uh, someone got sent to the ICU when doing this fire TikTok challenge. How old were they, you may ask? Thirteen. Now, I don't think that surprises anyone because that's TikTok's main demographic is kids and teens who are, are, are who obviously don't have fully functioning brains because who with a functioning brain would be like, oh, okay, I'm going to uh, light this on fire indoors where my, ho where my house could catch on fire. Yeah, that seems like a smart idea, doesn't it? People like that don't have a functioning brain, so they can't fully grasp, grasp the, the concept of it, but I feel like more of the fault, uh, is in the app itself. Now, I don't think TikTok should be banned, because there's good things like Kanye East on there, but I think there should be, like, a bot that, like, is like, oh, wow, there's people lighting something on fire. I don't think we should have that on our app. And then they just flag it, and it gets taken down. Now, it shouldn't be like YouTube's bot that constantly gets things wrong. But it should be an actual accurate bot, and same with YouTube's. Like, these fucking challenges are getting out of hand. Like, remember when the challenges used to be like, Uh, how many seconds can I spin a fidget spinner on my dick? But now it's like... Killing myself challenge like the blackout challenge that left that 12 year old dead that I talked about and now this and the magnet challenge Like there's so much shit like how has TikTok not Either adapted to this and found and found a way to filter it or just got banned overall So that's pretty much all I wanted to say on this issue. I'm just done with TikTok. There's like a new bad challenge every week I'm sure there'll be another one next week, I mean, it's, it's like, ugh, uh, but that's pretty much, yeah, all I wanted to say, I don't want to drag this out longer than it has to be, uh, but I just want to leave by saying, uh, I will start talking about, like, YouTubers and stuff again, it's just, shit's been dry as hell, there's, like, no one to talk about, there's, like, no bad YouTubers or nothing, so, if there's, uh, people that you want me to talk, like, obviously there's people like EDP and whatnot, but I don't really want to get into stuff like that, uh, uh, but, um, I want to talk about, like, cringe YouTubers and stuff and just bring more humor into the commentary again. Uh, so if you guys find any, uh, YouTubers that are cringe or bad or whatnot, uh, just let me know in the comments. 
Um, and then I'll talk about them. I do have a couple other things planned to talk about, because I do hope to uh, make my channel's sole focus commentary and machinima. But, uh, yeah, that's enough about me. This TikTok, these TikTok challenges are getting out of hand. See ya.